great to be out here this morning with, with, with Minister O'Brien. Uh, we're after viewing some houses that, that have been brought back to life uh, from dereliction. Although we are probably the least amount of vacant houses in the country, it's still very important that every single house that we can bring back to life, we will bring back to life. Uh, in this particular development, uh, in, in, in the complex of the old St. Ita's Hospital, was originally in the ownership of the HSC. They've given us 14 houses and hopefully we'll have these people living in them by the end of 2023. You know, first you to commend Fingal on a really good action plan. It's a pathway in housing for all to tackle vacancy. We're doing it right across the country but Fingal are certainly leading by example and great example here is in, in Port Ran here at the Avenue in St. Edith's where we're taking 14 homes that have some of them completely derelict, some of them been vacant for many many years. Uh, contractors are on site now, we're funding it through housing for all directly with, with Fingal to bring these homes on this beautiful avenue back into use and the first one's actually back into use by February next year uh, and moving that through so it's a really really delighted to be here to see local contractors on site too working with Fingal and all the work that's been done together so it's, it's great. My name is Orla Hart I'm the chief technician in the architects department and I'm the project lead on the renovation of 14 properties here in St. Ita's in Portra. We are in the process of renovating these 14 properties to a high standard and these will then be allocated to prospective tenants on the council housing list. Obviously we are going to be rewiring replumbing and providing a new heating system into them but all the work that we're carrying out is uh, sympathetic with the age and construction of the properties. I'm Austin Tisdall, Clark of Oaks, Fingal County Council. I'm just standing here at the back of the units at the moment and as you can see we have knocked down the more modern extensions that were built that were substandard and we are rebuilding new extensions to cater for new bathrooms for the future tenants that are going to take over the properties. As you can see, some of the properties here are in poorer condition than others. These five properties were subject to a fire in the past and some of the roofs have collapsed completely. We will replace the roof and we will find salvage material with regard to the roof slates to bring everything back in keeping with the original. Eamon Ryan from CTS Projects. We're the main contractor on behalf of Fingal Council. Uh, and as a local we're delighted to be involved with this project which is restoring homes for people in the area. I grew up here as a child myself there and um, you know Portran Avenue there, the Red Square, the Grey Square, they, they were where everybody lived in Portran when I was growing up here so um, and over the last couple of decades there as the houses have become vacant there they, they haven't been occupied so in effect they've you know they've been wound down and not being lived in and you know it's it has been unsightly it hasn't looked great we're in the midst of a, of a housing crisis there the hospital is coming back to life with the opening in recent weeks there of the national forensic hospital there so it's uh, it's great to see these you know beautiful beautiful homes uh, come and being restored and and being bring brought back brought back to life it was very nostalgic quite emotional actually there because I, I haven't been in the house and uh, you know I could I could remember it there just walking through it there now it's um, just uh, brought back like the best of memories there like this is like literally where we're standing here is where we would have played hopscotch would have skipped would have played a bit of football here on the road like you know it was a it was a real family estate uh, back in the day and back here when I was growing up as a child there so um so yeah it's very very nostalgic the best of amenities the best of facilities here in the area there so like it's going to be fantastic to see these homes live in again and to see hopefully certainly local families or whatever families coming to live in them it'll be wonderful. Yeah it's fantastic as Adrian said there you know they've been empty, empty for so long and people have been asking what's going on when's, when they're going to be brought back into use so it's great that it's happening now and the 14 homes here that'll be brought back into use for people on the housing waiting list um, which is great and there's a huge demand a huge interest in people in the area who would love to who would love to get a house here so it, it shows you know this, this is the right thing the council is doing with the HSE and it makes a lot of sense um, and to bring empty buildings back into use ties in with our kind of climate action targets. In, in effect, recycling, reusing uh, vacant buildings um, is hugely important. Ties in with what's happened today, and you know I think the national um, vacant housing strategy will be launched next week too, which is you know it ties in with that, and um, it, it just means that it's a good start for Fingal to be out in front, and we've got to look at other vacant buildings in the county as well. Keep moving and get those into use and make sure we bring in these buildings back into use for people. Although we have a relatively low level of vacancy and Fingal one of the lowest in the country, you know, any level of vacancy isn't really acceptable. Um, so we're doing a lot of work around trying to bring vacant and indeed derelict properties back into use across the county. There's a number of things we're doing ourselves, like we're doing here in Portran, 
uh, bringing these 14 cottages and houses back into use and they will be home for people from our social housing list. In addition to that, we're looking at privately owned properties and trying to see what we can do to encourage and I suppose ensure that properties are um, you know, no longer vacant or no longer derelict and there's a number of important schemes around that that the government have bought out through Housing for All including Creekona Towns, uh, repair and lease and other schemes like that. We've had great support and uh, input from our architects department, conservation elements as well, um, also working indeed across the housing uh, department and planning indeed to give us advice in, in, in that. And we're very fortunate too that we have a new vacant homes officer, a full-time position in place so that they're able to spend time on this. But yes, I think this project here is a great example of cross-departmental working, multidisciplinary working to get the best outcomes. And I think it shows what local authorities can do because most of the, the uh, expertise that's going on to this along with the contractors are probably other than the contracts, is actually the council's own staff. Well, we are always uh, on the lookout for, for different projects where we can work. I mean, this is an unusual one because we were able to take HSE-owned properties and, and bring them back into productive use. We're always looking at our own properties, trying to make sure that we don't have vacant properties ourselves, trying to bring those back into use. But there's a, lot, a huge piece of work, I think, with privately owned properties and even other buildings that might be houses, maybe bringing those back into use. And those schemes, for example, the Creek Honeha Town Scheme, actually can give a grant of up to 50000 to a private uh, individual if they make that their own residence. So that's a real uh, shot in the arm to, in terms of dealing with vacancy in towns, villages and even in rural areas right across the county.